Hi and welcome back. So in this video we're going to do some examples of using the matrix equation AX equals B. We'll do two examples here. I'll show you sort of the long written out version of these and then I'll show you a more faster version that you can do when you're actually doing these problems in practice. So for our first example, let's find the matrix product AX for the matrix A, which is a 5 by 2 matrix, 5, 3, 7, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 8, 2, 1. And then the vector X is going to be 4, negative 2. So in general, we could have X be our variables, so like X1, X2, but we can also do it with specific values. And that's part of what we're practicing now is moving away from the systems of equations and starting to do this with actual values in our matrix. Okay, so we're doing A times X. We have A, which is a five by two matrix, and then X, which is a two by one vector, which we're looking at as a matrix. So when we do this multiplication, our resulting vector is going to have five components. So it's going to be a five by one matrix. So we have those inner dimensions are the same and the resulting vector is five by one. I like to remember that we have one value in the X vector for each column of A. So that's why we have two values in our X vector, one for each column of A. So to do the multiplication, we're going to take the first column of A and multiply it by four. So the first column of A times four, and then the second column of A and multiply it by negative two. Second vector of A times negative two, and we add those things together. So the first vector times four, I'm just going to multiply all the components by four. I get 20, 28, negative four, zero, and eight. Then for the second, I'm going to do the column multiplied by negative two. So I just get negative six, zero, zero, negative 16 and negative two. Now I just need to add the vectors together. So I add the components. I'm getting 20 minus six, 28 plus zero, negative four plus zero, zero minus 16 and eight minus two. So now I just simplify and I get my final answer. So I'm getting 14, 28, negative four, negative 16 and six. And there we go. So this is a five by one matrix as we expected, and this is our matrix product. All right, so this is just fine. We got our answer, but I wanna show you a bit of a faster method that we often use once we become more fluent with these ideas. So starting with our original problem, we have A times X, and what I'm going to do is multiply out each column by the vector row by row. So I'm going to do the first row of A times our vector X. So we do five times four plus three times negative two. And that's our first entry of our resulting vector. Then we do the next row. I do seven times four plus zero times negative two. Then I do negative one times four plus zero times negative two. So I'm just moving down row by row. I do zero times four plus eight times negative two. And then I do two times four plus one times negative two. And with some color coding, we can see how this works out. So we have the columns of A, and then they're being multiplied by that four and negative two. So this saves us those middle steps of writing everything out and just gets us immediately to simplifying. So you can see here that these simplify and get us the same answer as we had from before. Okay, let's try one more example. So let's find the matrix product AX if A is a three by four matrix. So one, negative one, four, zero, zero, two, four, one, five, three, eight, one. And then we have our vector X, which is four by one. It's two, five, 10, negative one. So to do the matrix product, we write these things next to each other. So I have my three by four matrix times my four by one matrix and I have the same number of elements in X as I do columns in A, and that is so we end up with a resulting vector that has three components, so it's three by one. Now the sort of long version to do this is that we take every column of A and multiply it by the corresponding component of X. 
So the first column gets multiplied by the first component, the second column gets multiplied by the second component, third column times the third component, and then fourth column times the fourth component. So I've written that out here. We have our columns times our elements of the vector x. Then we just distribute those scalars. So my first vector is 105 times 2, which gives me 2, 0, 10. My second vector is negative 1, 2, 3 times 5, which becomes negative 5, 10, 15. My third vector is 4, 4, 8 times 10, which becomes 40, 40, 80. And then my last vector is 0, 1, 1 times negative 1, which becomes 0, negative 1, negative 1. So now we're just left to combine these together and simplify. So I'm just putting everything into one vector, I'm adding those vectors, and then I'm doing the algebra. So 2 minus 5 plus 40 is 37. That's my first component of my final answer. Then I do 10 plus 40 minus 1, I get 49 for my second component. And then lastly, I do 10 plus 15 plus 80 minus 1, and I get 104. And this is my final answer for my B, and it's 3 by 1 as we expected. All right, so similar to the last example, I just want to show you a bit of a faster method that we'll start to use as we get more fluent with this. So starting with our original problem, we had A times X, and what we're going to do is go row by row. So I'm going to take the first row and multiply it by X, doing a dot product of sorts, where I do each element multiplied together. So here I do 1 times 2, plus negative 1 times 5, plus 4 times 10, plus 0 times negative 1. And this is the first row of my answer. Then I do the second row of A multiplied by my X vector. So 0 times 2, plus 2 times 5, plus 4 times 10, plus 1 times negative 1. And then I do my final row times my vector. 5 times 2, plus 3 times 5, plus 8 times 10, plus 1 times negative 1. Then we're just left to simplify. At this point, I like to point out that we can see the columns of A, and we see that they're multiplied by the corresponding components of X. So it's nice for me when I'm doing these problems to really highlight that pattern for myself. Okay, so at this point we are then just left to simplify, which is the same math we did earlier, and we're getting our same final answer. Alright, so those are two examples using the matrix equation AX equals B. In the next video we'll start doing matrix times matrix multiplication, but for now this is our matrix times vector multiplication. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.